Hey guys, how's it going? It's the real Randy Chavez coming at you with a stock video on just what I'm doing. Again, this is not financial advice, not a financial advisor, just keeping things transparent. Um, Tesla, not Tesla, Illumina's earning call and the earnings report came out the other day. And what Kathy Wood from ARK Invest says is that basically Illumina has not been focusing on driving down prices as much as they should. And there's the potential for other companies and let's say China or somewhere else to that has really been focusing on that to try to overtake them with, with lower prices. Now it's gonna be very hard to do that because Illumina does own like 70% market share uh, for DNA sequencing and reading your, your DNA and reading the genetics. And they not only sell the test to test it, to run it, but they also sell the machines they sell the machines that run it and then the tests that go into the machine. So they have a very, 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 not monopoly, but a very good corner of the market, huge ass corner. They have three corners of the market. And what they're doing is if they are going to continue to do like they have been, then it is not, that does not spell good for the company. That It is a lot easier to fall out of first place than it is to get into it. Uh, and that's something that has worried Kathy Wood. She says that, based on everything that they had said is that that's what they were looking to do was they were looking to focus more on getting their prices down which is what they need to do however comma um because of what tesla has been doing as far as moving sideways and even down a little bit you know 1500 seems to be that would be like the breakout point uh it doesn't seem to want to go past there so i'm going to sell illumina on monday i only have like nine shares so maybe i could afford to get another uh, <laughs> another two shares of Tesla, but that's what I'll do. I'll sell that. I'm going to buy Tesla. Fastly was the other one that you have a, I don't know if I went over this already, but their earnings call, they, they crushed it. They crushed earnings. They're absolutely destroying everything. Why did it go down like 30 something percent from 114 down to 80? Because 12% of the revenue came from TikTok and Trump wants to ban TikTok, at least in the U.S., and that people are just like, ah, and they're just like, all right, sell, 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 because they think that if TikTok gets banned, then they're just going to fall apart, which is absolutely ridiculous, absolutely phenomenally ridiculous. So uh, Microsoft, by what well, Fastly does a lot of work for Microsoft as well, but Microsoft might buy them and it might not happen. But even if that deal falls through, Microsoft does not buy them and TikTok is banned in America. That only half of the revenue, so 12% comes from TikTok. Half of the revenue that comes from TikTok is in the US. So really only 6% of their entire revenue comes from TikTok. Is it a hit? Yeah. Is it suck? Yeah. But, and that's worst case scenario if, if they lose 6% of their revenue. They're still growing. They're still gro They have Shopify, they have Walmart, they have Microsoft, they have so many fucking businesses. It is stupid, stupid, stupid undervalued at $80. Just my opinion. I might actually just buy more. Um, I'll still buy two shares of Tesla, but I might try to over leverage myself again and buy some more fastly because that is insane that it went from 115 down to $80. It's gonna go to 130. I, this is something that at some point is probably gonna get bought out. It's probably gonna be able to see like, you know what? Uh, another company like Amazon or Apple, they're just like, you know what? You guys are doing such a great job. We're just gonna buy you. And let's say if it's $150 a share, they'll buy it for 175 a share. So I'm gonna buy more. Uh, I might buy more. I'll let you guys know. Anyway, that's, again, buy more Tesla because they still have not, the announcement has not been made for them to go in the S&P 500. Uh, Tesla, Tesla Daily Podcast? Tesla Daily Podcast. I uh, just put out a video saying that the average date uh, for when they earnings to announcement of inclusion is, I think, 37 days or 43 days, somewhere around there. So they, they might not, the announcement for them to be included might not happen until September. And then usually after that, you usually have like four to 10 days after they announce till they actually are included. So let's just say like mid-September, latest would be mid-September. Mid, mid to late September is when they actually might go in, actually are included. So that in conjunction with battery day is going to be heckin' ridiculous. So March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So, so we have S&P announcement, S&P inclusion, we have battery day, and then we have Q3. Fucking ridiculous. So that that is that is going to be, again, just a prediction of mine, that that is going to be a, a lot of money. That is going to have a lot. 
you know, 26 million shares have to be bought after the S&P inclusion. And a lot of people in, uh, if you go on Twitter, like if you can't find out why Tesla stock is going up or down, just go on Twitter and you will find out. Those guys are insane. Like fanatics, fanboys, fangirls, it's insane. So anyway, guys, that is it for me. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. Uh, I will talk to you later. I have power now, if you can't tell. So I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, I'll talk to you all later. I love you. Bye. Comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Bye.